Hey YouTube family, Robert here with Coastal GX. I'm here at Truck Toys once again and every time I come to the shop, I always have a smile because I know something special is gonna happen. Today, as a matter of fact, we're gonna be installing a few things. One of them, the main thing that's gonna change the look of Sandy uh, from the front, it's gonna be uh, their Iron Man bumper, okay? So we're gonna be installing an Iron Man bumper. We're gonna be installing a winch a 12,000 pound winch uh, from Iron Man as well. And we're gonna reinstall the sliders actually. So anyway, I'm looking forward to see how this turns out. Once again, you know, everything uh, it's experimenting with my Lexus GX. They've never done this on another GX before. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm really stoked about this one. Let's go check it out. As you all know by now, I've been building my 2012 Lexus GX460 for a couple of years. I am not sponsored by anyone. Just like you, I pay for these products out of my own pocket and I create these videos so that other GX owners can have an idea of what to expect. I would genuinely appreciate a like, comment, and hopefully your subscription. They won't have to mess around with these uh, recovery points that I had installed a long time ago. It's one of the first things that I did was install these recovery points. And of course they've helped out a lot. If you could tell, if you can see these right here, these are not good for recovering your vehicle. These aren't meant for that. But these things right here, look at that. Look at how thick that steel is. And this will certainly do the job. Hey guys, so if you have if you have these type of uh, of recovery points, you know the guys tell me that you will need to remove at least this bolt right here in front uh, in order to fit in order to fit the bumper. It came with its own uh, bolt for for that part. Yeah. the same bolt on this one angel yeah truck toys to remove my southern style off-road sliders a few weeks ago i had made the mistake of ordering them without a powder coating and surface rust had developed one of my subscribers suggested i use pour 15 to treat them so that's what i did i have to say i'm very pleased with the end result
Here is a big heads up. There are no specific instructions or templates for the 2010 to 2013 Lexus GX bumper installation. Custom fabricator Justin James owns Truck Toys. His team has never installed an Iron Man Classic bumper on a GX. This is where years of experience come into play. Justin knows he has to measure and cut several times until he gets it right. This is why I choose to trust my mods to Truck Toys instead of tackling this at home. The bumper install was coming along just fine. Now it was time to take care of the lighting. Oxbeam sent me a pair of 150 watt off-road lights to try out. I will be creating a separate video review soon. Angel has installed hundreds of lighting kits and the speed in which he finished the job was pretty astonishing. Oh yeah, let there be lights. The Iron Man Classic bumper comes with integrated turning signals, parking lights, and fog lamps. We wanted the system to be integrated into the GX's OEM light switches. You will need to buy your own turn signal resistors in order for the blinkers to work properly. Otherwise, they will hyperblink. Truck Toys got it right and all of Sandy's lights work perfectly. Justin and Angel bolted on the bumper's protective guards and completed the project. You took a look at uh, that Iron Man bumper and the winch. I mean, uh, does it look like high quality to you? Yeah, yeah, everything looks awesome, man. Everything lined up real nice. The big finish is very nice on those bumpers. One thing that people probably need to be aware of, and that this is something that you saw, there's no instructions on how to cut. Yeah. Tell me about that. That one, it's kind of the same deal as the rear bumper. You know what I mean? You're still, you're going to have to do some, just figure it out pretty much, you know? There, since it's not made specifically for this vehicle, Obviously, the templates they send you to cut are going to be slightly different. And you kind of just, you always want to cut it a little long and just trim from there. Measure twice, you know, measure everything. You must have done it like at least four times. Yeah. You kept going back and going back yeah, sure. until it was something that you were satisfied with and you, you got to... Yeah, you, I always do it like that personally because I'm real picky about the way stuff, the fit and finish of it, you know. So I like to leave it long and just take off a little bit at a time until we get it down to where it needs to be or it looks right. Um, you've been saying you've been getting more uh, customers bringing in Iron Man yes, sir. products. I know that you had an FJ a little while ago yes, that sir. you just completed as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, what, what do you want to tell people? I mean, hey, if they have it, you can bring it over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. If you get Iron Man kits, pretty much any kit, you buy it on your own, we'll install it. We obviously, we prefer to sell it to you, but if we can't, then it is what it is. So if you, if you don't know, like, what to get or whatever, you can certainly... They can come here and oh, you yeah. can guide them. Yeah, just give me a call or come by the shop. And I've done that with, I think, four or five different guys looking for Iron Man stuff. And so I'll definitely still guide you in the right direction wherever I can help with. Sure. So let's take a closer look at what we just installed. Starting with the Iron Man Classic Bumper. Wait, the first thing you are probably wondering is how heavy this thing is. After removing the GX parts, the bumper adds an additional 119 pounds. Combine it with the 64 pounds of the winch and you end up carrying an extra 183 pounds up front. It may sound like a lot, but this thing is robust. Features. The bumper comes with a winch tray and the Iron Man Monster winch fits perfectly. That's a definite plus that will save you time and headaches. The lights came at no extra cost and the LEDs are very bright. 
safety. This thing is airbag compliant and crash tested in Australia. I would not want to be in the receiving end of this thing. Quality. So far, I've purchased several products from Iron Man and haven't been disappointed yet. All of their products appear to be high quality and haven't shown any issues. This bumper has strong welds and a nice powder coat finish. I hope it can take whatever SPI has to throw at it. Practicality. The GX's approach angle is not very good. This bumper will definitely provide the clearance you need off-road. I also like the ability to mount off-road lights up front. And finally, the looks. I gotta hand it to the mates down under. They know how to turn a boring truck into an adventure rig. So now on to the Iron Man Monster Winch. I chose a 12,000 pound winch with a synthetic rope. It came with everything you see here. I recently got myself into a muddy situation and I could have used it at that time. The winch has a 6.4 horsepower motor and comes with 92 feet of synthetic rope. It also comes with a wireless remote, a remote cable, an aluminum Haas fair lead, and a winch line damper blanket. In my most recent trip to the beach, I was able to pretension the line by hooking onto a beach buoy. I replaced the standard hook with a Factor 55 flat link and a rope protector. Now the monster wedge is ready in case I do something stupid again. So one thing I haven't mentioned is the cost. Iron Man has some of the lowest prices out there. I was able to buy the bumper and the winch during their 4th of July special and I ended saving a lot of money. It's hard to argue with their bang for the buck factor. So what are the cons? So far I was disappointed with a lack of a premium bumper availability for the 2010 to 2013 models. I really enjoyed having my parking sensors up front. The classic bumper doesn't allow for it and that's quite a disappointment. Another con in my opinion is the lack of a proper template for the Lexus GX. I understand these bumpers are made and designed for Toyota Land Cruiser Prados, but they are being marketed to Lexus owners in the United States also. I hope they provide specific instructions for our market in the future. Other than that, I have nothing to complain about. I am very happy with the modifications and grateful to Justin and the Truck Toys team for their can-do attitude and willingness to work on uncommon vehicles such as the GX. If you're in South Texas, give them a try. Your ride can't be in better hands. That's going to do it for the video. I hope you take something from it. If you did, consider liking and subscribing to my channel and leave a friendly comment down below. Get up, get out, do something.